Okay, I've got all four of my six gang switches up here with me. Wireless switches, Lutron, Pico series, wireless switches. Like I said, I've got them all mounted to an aluminum bracket that's gonna mount on the wall. And I've just got them in this protective frame for right now. But anyway, let me show you real quick how to program these. You don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it. I've just found that um, setting the, resetting them to factory default is the best way to go. So what you'll do is you'll start out with holding the advance button on here. You're gonna triple tap it and hold it on the third time. One, two, three. It'll flash rapidly at first. Let go and triple tap again. Now you're in factory settings right there. Then you're gonna hold this button here, the 120 slash 277 volt button. You're gonna hold that for six seconds. And now it's in learn mode. Then we go to each switch and we hold down whatever button we're trying to program, which I've already done all these. We're missing one that the owner's got with him somewhere. We've got them all here. So the sixth switch, each, each of these switches, I've got them laid out just like the relay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm on the sixth one right now. You're gonna hold the off button for six seconds and you'll see a flash. I'm gonna move this over a little bit so you'll see it. Hold this down for six seconds. When you see it start flashing again, that one's all set. Go to the next one. That one's all set. done and the last one that one's done now when you get all four of them done when you get all your switches that you want you can put these on a keychain you can do whatever you want they make visor clips for them now you're going to go back over here to finish it out it's still in learn mode you can see it's flashing the lights off and on right there while it's in learn mode while it's still in, after you've done all four of your switches or however many you may have, hold this down again for six seconds. And that one's all set. So let's test them. And you can see the relays. set we fought with these things for a while at first because what it says you need to do is when you get this thing out of the package install it and hold this down for six seconds put it in learn mode and then go and test your switches so we had a lot of problems with that it was hit or miss sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't so I called the factory and explained the problem and they said yes go ahead and just go ahead and run right off the bat put it back to factory settings by doing the advanced mode you can find that in the directions but I wish I'd have learned that a long time ago because it was very aggravating for us. We thought we were doing it wrong, but we were doing it just the way it said. However, we should have put it in factory default. So anyway, let me show you real quick. Let me get off this ladder and explain to you the reason why we went with wireless. This is a very big warehouse. It's 200 by 65, I believe. And we've got six switches at each location. So six at that door, six 200 feet away. six at this door and six right here next to the panel and if you were doing this conventionally you'd have to run conduit and more than likely it'd be a couple of three-quarter conduits maybe a one inch and you'd have they wanted all these three-way switch they want six separate switches but they wanted them all three-way so you can turn on from any door you come in you can turn on each section of lighting it's split up into six sections in here and that would have meant a lot of wire three-way switches require three wires plus a ground to each one so there'd be a lot of wiring. So uh, we're going wireless. And I'm just going to mount those aluminum plates to the side of each door. I'm going to do that now, and I'll take a quick video showing you that here in a minute. 